Hi everybody. Uh, I want to try and talk about power inverters that convert DC power over to AC power. Okay, there's a chart, little chart here, and I'm going to try to give a little explanation on this chart. We have a pure sine wave inverter and then a modified sine wave inverter. Now the pure sine wave inverter basically this little chart says here it says equivalent to standard household power delivers high quality clean power for superior performance easy motor startups reduces noise reduces stress on circuitry strong compatibility with most devices now with the, with the modified sine wave inverter it's comparable to standard household power which means not the same it's cost effective which means the modified sine wave inverters are cheap high efficiency the efficiency rates high um, light and portable not compatible with some devices now the reason for this is this pure sine wave inverters basically create the same type of power your normal outlets on your wall would produce. So your, your wavelength, the way it flows to all your appliances that you're using, your computer, your television, your radio, your speakers, your computer, um, you know, your satellite, your coffee maker, your blenders, your washer machine, your dryer, that type of thing is will be okay with your pure sine wave inverter. Now with a modified sine wave inverter it's not going to be like that. Most things will run okay but where you're going to run into problems is with electronics, you're going to run into problems with electric motors, you're going to run into problems with little transformers that are trying to convert power over and the reason for this is is that it's modified okay it's not a pure form and what it means by it's not a pure form the way it travels it's the way it travels it's not pure enough to make everything run like it's supposed to so therefore if you're trying to run an electric motor off of modified sine wave then it's probably going to heat up a lot quicker. It's going to run, but it's going to heat up a lot faster, and it may get hot the longer it's running for. Um, your little transformers that you plug into, and then one end plugs into the wall, the other end plugs into whatever device it may be, that little transformer may heat up quite hot because the modified sine wave is going to create that. It's not flowing properly. It's flowing properly but it's not flowing the same as pure sine wave. So it's, it's working harder to produce and to work the same as it would with a pure sine wave. Now with electronics in some cases it just won't even run them. Depending on how high tech the electronics are or how, how high tech the devices are it's not really even recommended to use modified sine wave. You're, you're better off electronics and everything to be pure sine wave. That's where you're going to do much better. Much, much, much better. Highly unlikely you're going to burn anything out or damage anything with pure sine wave. And it could be very possible that you're going to damage something using modified sine wave. So when you're picking out your inverters, whether it's for your campsite, whether it's for your home, or for wherever it may be, just in the back of your automobile, you might want to consider this whether you want modified sine wave or you want pure sine wave the results are going to be determined on what you're going to be using now drills and grinders and power tools modified sine wave is going to work okay but again they may heat up quicker they may get warm to the touch faster compared to pure sine wave inverters with a drill and a grinder and your skill saw and whatever power tools you may be operating it's going to operate as it would normal. It's still going to heat up but just not as fast. 
So down here we have a we have we have a, an applications chart, and we have modifying side wave inverters and a pure sine wave inverter. So your your LCD t and plasma TVs they don't even rate it. So basically they're basically telling you don't even operate it on a modified sine wave. Now with your pure sine wave they're giving it a three star, so that's pretty good. It's basically telling us that there's no problems. Go ahead, turn it on. Now our standard TV, your tube type TV, with a modified sine wave, they're giving us two stars, which they're telling, well, it's okay. It's not perfect, but it's all right. And with the pure sine wave, again, three stars. Nothing wrong with it. It's going to operate just fine. Now audio equipment, they're giving us one star which they're telling us, you know, you're, you're, it's kind of risky. Risky business, risky business. Now with the pure sine wave, three stars again, no problems at all. A laptop computer, three stars. And the reason why they're giving us three stars is because the laptop itself is not directly working off the modified sine wave. It's working off a little transformer. But now what they don't tell us is that that little transformer that it's working from that's where the problem is going to come into effect. Not the laptop itself. It's going to be on that little transformer that uses to charge up the laptop batteries. Now for a pure sine wave, again, three stars. No problem at all. So a desktop computer, they're telling us two stars. Which means, you know, it's okay to use, but it may not function as it could pure sine wave, it's basically telling us it's going to function perfectly well. Three stars again. Now a table saw, air compressor, etc. Two stars for modified sine wave and we're getting three stars for pure sine wave. So pure sine wave so far is far the best to use as far as an inverter. So far, no problems. Now we go down to power hand tools. Two stars, which is okay. Again, maybe a little bit of difficulties. They may heat up quicker. May not operate with as much power or as much torque as they could. Now pure sine wave, no problem at all. Three stars again. Now a coffee maker, toaster, hair dryer, etc. Three stars, no problem because these things work off of elements and they don't really care what kind of sine wave they're receiving so they're going to work just fine that type of thing and pure sine wave again no problem because like I say toasters, hair dryers, coffee makers that type of thing works off of elements and they don't really care what kind of wave they're getting to operate now we have blenders mixers, coffee grinders etc two star because now we're back into a motor and the motor has windings and them windings it does care what kind of wave that's being produced to it modified is two under pure sine wave is three no problem at all now a laser printer it's telling us zero stars so it's basically not going to work under modified sine wave but under pure sine wave, the laser printer, no troubles at all. Photocopier, it's telling us it's not going to work under modified sine wave. But it's telling us it's going to work perfectly well under pure sine wave inverter. Now a bubble jet printer, again it's how these things operate. Under modified sine wave it's giving us two star. Well it's just saying it's going to work but it may create a little bit of problems, it may get warmer, it may not be working like it could be working and under pure sine wave no problem at all three stars. Fax machine modified sine wave is two star again it's okay it's going to work just not as good as it could. Now under pure sine wave it's going to work perfectly okay three stars again. An air conditioner one star 
so it's probably not going to work very good under a modified sine wave you may not you may not get the cool air you could you know the motor may heat up quicker it may not blow out as it could under the pure sine wave three stars perfect it's going to work okay lighting incandescent lighting three stars no problem at all because again lighting is almost like the blender the coffee maker the toaster I'm sorry not the blender the coffee maker the toaster the dryer and the coffee maker it's basically working off of an element and an element doesn't care how it's receiving its power as long as it has enough now lighting other lighting this could be LED lighting fluorescent lighting which is not really working off of uh, an element so we have two stars so some of it may work okay some of it may not and how it may not it may not be as bright as it could it may flicker flutter be like a strobe light um, fluorescent lights take a ballast electronic ballast it's probably going to interfere with electronics within the ballast that's making the bulbs glow but under pure sine wave perfectly okay three stars again medical equipment it's telling us it's not going to work under pure sine wave it's going to work fine so you might want to consider this chart when you're determining whether or not what kind of inverter you want to run your home your campsite or whatever it may be the modified sine wave inverters they work okay but there's some things that are not going to work and the pure sine wave inverter it's the same power that's basically coming to your house so just about everything you plug in is going to work okay but not with the modified sine wave inverter it will not work okay some things will some things will not so the pure wave sine inverters are a lot more expensive than the modified sine wave inverters but it all depends on what you're going to be using you're going to want to take this into consideration what you're going to be using to make your judgment of what type of inverter you want choose it right fellas it's going to be your performance of what you're plugging in and what you're going to be using and expecting to work choose it right that's all I can tell you thank you for watching subscribe if you would